Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode we had our first medium adventure with a few of our new recruits. We had Amaris and Artemis kind of working together, but I have a feeling that them two are going to form a bit of a hatred towards each other. Amaris looking to rid the world of all evil and sin, and Amaris really is the complete epitome of sin. She is a horrible person with a veil of beauty and a horrible curse. So them two working together was a bit of a strange combination, but I think uh, I think they had to try it out and see how it went. But we actually did okay in that one, and we're going to head in and get our backstory going for, I believe it's the claimant. So let's get into that. Here we are in the cursed estate. But before we get into this episode, I just want to give a big shout out to DB Fan. He is actually a viewer and a Discord member that's been writing a lot of the backstories. You may remember from the previous episode he wrote a backstory for Artemis and he has written many more that will come up as we collect new people and get new recruits but I really wanted to shout him out because he actually did something really really nice he went out and sent me the um, DLC I believe it's called the Crimson Court uh, that is a DLC for this game that we're going to be getting into it's one that I was looking at getting myself as we progress through the story but he was kind enough to send me it himself uh, so now we have the ability to get into districts as, uh, once we've played for long enough and we also can go to the Crimson Court and do a few different things and we also have a new class the Flagellant as well which is part of the Crimson Court DLC so thank you very very much for sending me that so it's, it's a really really nice gesture and I really do appreciate it a lot and a lot but we'll get into the episode here as I said we're here in the Curse Court and we do have the claimants here this is the uh, the per the people that we took on. I was going to say person, but it's people that we took on in the previous episode. And this is a backstory written by Soft Roll. Here we have the claimants, Smith and Alice. Born in the estate before being overrun by monsters, the claimant's siblings had a normal life in a normal town. They weren't wealthy, but they had each other. Their dad worked as a guard and their mother as a nurse. Each sibling would accompany their respective parent to work, and Smith learned how to wield and use weapons, while Alice lent compassion and how to care for the wounded. The day the dungeon erected from the ground, they were hurried onto a carriage that drove away from the town and their parents were slaughtered. They now return years later to take their parents' place and find some familiar faces. Smith works in the armory helping in mending weapons for soldiers and Alice works in the sanatorium curing the wounded. Claimant siblings know the dirt about anyone if you're willing to cough up some coin. The work in the estate is cruel, uh, is crucial and a rally pushes towards the darkest dungeon. Great backstory there, of course. In true Turtle Melon fashion, I read some of it wrong, but <laughs> it'll be on screen for you guys. Uh, yes, Sofrol writing another brilliant backstory there. He's been working so hard on this series. A big thanks to all of you that have been writing backstories. It's been really fun and I've been really enjoying it. But yes, um, now we are going to go and... Uh, Head in. I did actually ask my Discord and a few of the people that watch this series and participate in it what we were going to do about the very, very, very close um, roster cap and the fact that we currently can't afford to upgrade our roster size. People said that they would prefer for right now that we just leave it and we play with the people we have and if people die then we take new people on but we, we play with the people we have right now and we just play until we can upgrade our roster size and this allows us to do more diary entries and build on characters we already have which i 100 percent agree with i think that's a great take on it but anyways let's uh let's embark on our next adventure we're probably looking to do another medium adventure here um and seeing what we can get done we do have a medium one here the iterant cook wow plus 50 percent damage so this would turn the Idrunt Cook into a um, into a very a very much damage dealing class rather than a completely dedicated healer, which is an interesting an interesting idea actually. Uh, let's have a little look. So the honestly, that would be amazing. I think we should go here. We'll we'll do this medium one here um, and go for the Vagabond's Cloak. We are going to take a little look real quick at some relics that we may want to attach to some people and also maybe sell a few. So let's have a look of ones that we haven't been using, uh, ones that we can get rid of. So the Arbalist ones, of course, Aurora wants to take those on. Um, we also have 
extra accuracy on range skills, but lowers dodge. Uh, her dodge is five. Um, we've got five on her. Uh, we've got Sabrina, who's got a dodge of five as well. And then we've also got Ruby, who has a dodge of 10. So I think we'll go for this on Ruby right now. Having a little bit less dodge, but much, much higher um, accuracy is going to be really, really nice. Uh, let's have a little look if anyone else can take anything on. We could also attach that. I think that's going to be better on um, on someone that's a little more squishy, though. Maybe a healer or someone. So let's uh, let's have a look who could be deserving of that. We haven't really done anything with Red recently, and she does already have something that reduces her speed, so maybe not the best idea. Um, maybe Mary can take that on. She's got pretty decent speed, and we want as much dodge on her as possible. So maybe we'll yeah we'll 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 wield her up with these slippery boots there. Um, give her an extra bit of dodge. And a, a bit more dodge. I think that's going to be really, really nice on her. Simply because Mary is going to be a pretty important healer for us. We really want her to be as as hard to hit as possible, definitely. As hard to hit as possible. Um, and we'll probably swap those between Mary and, um, and Amaris. I think Amaris is another one that we're going to need to be using that on too. Um... And then, as for everything, anything else, I am going to go quickly and make sure we can actually do this exploration by selling these, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll sell those. And I think everything else we really want to keep, so we'll keep everything else. Do you know what? I, I really don't really care for those at all, so I'm going to sell that as well. So let's see who we're going with here. Now, I do realize that what I could be doing is... Um, is attaching different things to different people as and when we need them so i think i think actually what we'll do here is we'll take on we'll take on sabrina in the back line because sabrina is going to be useful and this is of course i want to try at least to make sure that when we're going for um a class specific relic that we take that class with us if we have the option to although sabrina has not been leveled up which does leave a little bit to be desired um for sabrina so We'll, we'll take her anyways, and we'll actually we'll actually go and um, go over towards our Ruby here and take this off Ruby for now, and put this on Sabrina while we while we use Sabrina. I think that's going to be a good idea. Um, slightly less dodge for a lot better accuracy. Oh, that's the same person I just had it on. What am I doing? Um, where is she, Sabrina? Yes, there you go. Gonna be a bit less dodge, but I think that's fine. Um, and she does have Curve Explorer, so we are gonna get a nice amount of boost there, um, where we're gonna get less stress while we're in the curve here, which is always nice to see. Now, who else are we gonna take with us? Um, let's take Renault. We haven't been out with Renault in a little while here. We'll put him in our second position here. Um, and I think we'll take Ryan Hawthorne as our healer here. That's going to be some nice healing. Um, Ryan hasn't really been out too much. He's not as experienced. And who's going to be our front runner? We could go with Eon. Eon's really nice and does have a bit of extra healing. Um, Willow could be a good shout as well. Um, Kronos could be really nice. Or we could take the claimants, as they do have some interesting abilities that we can do. Um, in fact, yes. So let's let's move you up to the front here, and we'll take Smith and Alice with us. And we'll go into the curve here. Now, this could be dangerous. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this will go. We don't have particularly high healing Although we do actually no, I, I tell a lie because we've got this heal from from um, from Ryan. Um, we've got a list with our healing ability here, uh, ten percent max HP, along with a stress heal. Then we also do have battle heal from Renault there, so I think this should be okay. Um, let's buy one of these, take that with us, just in case, because the curve can give us the sickness. We really should bring that with us. Um, we'll bring 16 food, as we normally do. We'll bring four of those, two of those. We're going to bring four bandages, just because I think we'll need them more. Let's buy the torches now, so we know how much money we have left after this. 16 torches. Two of these, two of these, and two of these. Actually, we'll take, we'll take three of those, because we have the money, and sometimes you can get some really nice cures with those. So, uh, especially with the... the 
curios that we find about. So this should be a, a relatively decent team. I think we've got a few people that aren't leveled up here, so it might not be as easy. But Renault, it's been a little while since he's been out. And uh, while we are loading into the curve here, we're going to go over a diary entry from Artemis uh, by DB Fan. Uh, of course, Artemis being our Lamia. Um, and this is from her perspective before she went into the first dungeon yesterday, last week, should I say. I could say yesterday, but it would be last week. Uh, why did I have to be sent to here of all places? A filthy cavern full of disease and hideous monsters. And what's, uh, what's worse, the dirt is ruining my dress. The only benefit is the people in front of me willing to look tastier and have more meat on them. I don't need to be fast, just faster than the person behind me. And the other members seem quite slow and bulky with all those chains on them. And then after the dungeon, she wrote, disgusting 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 i'll never wash the feeling of those vile creatures vomit off me the only positive is the rumors of this place being an occult hot spot were right and it seems like my singing lessons paid off helped me earn the trust the more friends i have the more meat shields i can put between me and the monsters so you can see her um artemis's true true side and, and just horrible horrible personality shining there she is really all about me she all she's she's just thinking about herself everyone else is here is either here to heal her and help her or here to literally block her from damage she is not she's going to be fighting for herself and no one else but let's get into the curve here we have a battle straight away here so let's get into this. Okay, we don't have any of the horrible ones. This guy needs to go very quickly. These guys do explode if you don't if you don't kill them quickly. So we'll be making sure to take him out. Um, of course, we do have the ability to switch between modes. With this mode, we're going to buff ourselves for extra speed. If we change over, we will be reducing the dodge and speed of the enemy. I'm going to do that and strike you. A critical straight away, Sabrina. It's great when you receive crits from Sabrina. Nice accuracy. I really, really like that. And let's go for, we've got some pull, we got some heal. Um, let's go for a pull on you, we'll try and pull you forward. Very nice. And let's activate a repost with um, with our claimants here. And if, if you didn't know, the claimants actually get two moves. One move is the sister and one move is the brother. I think there's a really interesting way to do it. And then we can actually mark ourselves, buff ourselves, and increase our opposed damage, which we're going to do there. And that'll be a good way to start this move off. And unfortunately, this guy being pushed to the back does make him a little harder to uh, attack here. Um, I think for now, we'll just strike you and see what we can get done as Renault here. Okay, Clement's taking a little bit of damage there, but the repost is, of course, coming out strong. And we get rid of that guy. Sabrina getting a nice hit there. Lovely. Of course, these guys are going to take most of the damage, but they are, of course, very, very nice for um, taking people out here. We can get a bit of pull and also uh, buff measured assault. So we'll try that. We'll, we'll pull you, although I forgot that's not going to actually pull you. Um, and as you can see here, we get 100% extra damage to this attack here. So let's try that. This is armor piercing too, which is really, really nice. We're again going to try and pull you. I don't know why I keep doing that. I keep completely forgetting that's how that works. Uh, we'll just keep taking you out and make sure you can't guard her anymore. And... If we attack you, it'll attack the front guy, so we might as well do that. And there you go. He's finished off. I really like Sabrina. Sabrina's really, really pulling out all the stops here. And with her massive accuracy boost and speed boost while she's, um... Well, like, after getting a critical strike, it's really, really nice. So let's go for an attack on the back line here. We don't need to do any healing yet, and that's going to get a little bit of debuff on her. Eldritch Push is going to rearrange us, but I don't think that should matter too much. I think what we'll do here is we'll get a battle heal on you... Make sure everyone's topped up. Uh, we'll go for... Yeah, let's go for another heal on Ryan here. Of course, only 10% of maximum HP is going to vary from person to person. But Sabrina comes in yet again with a beautiful hit. Buffing her speed for another three rounds. Um, and... I think we can go for a stun here. Oh, unfortunately, um, Ryan missed a little bit there. Uh... What we can do is we can activate Repurse, and then we can use this to cure Blight and Bleed. We don't need to do that yet, but we can. Um, 
And let's just go for an assault on this guy. It's not going to be a lot of damage, but it is going to help out a little bit. And while we're here, let's do let's do a little bit of stress healing, shall we? Uh, while while we're in the back line here, Ryan taking heavy heavy damage here. And let's see if Sabrina can get another quick shot off. And there's another accurate shot from Sabrina. She's really going to be our powerhouse here. Uh, only a heal of two. We did resist our bleed though, so that's nice. We are going to get a little bit of a repost here and we already got uh ooh, dragon slayer ring of the first born very nice that's gonna be very useful when we uh when we get ourselves a dragon slayer uh we're all looking a little bit worse for wear here let's make sure to rearrange our crew back into their proper formation yeah we are looking a little bit worse for wear here we've all taken a little bit of damage but it's nothing we can't heal past especially if ryan pulls out the big stops and gets a really really nice heal and there is plenty of those that you could get. We actually revealed a map here. This could be very, very nice. Wow, is this a full map? This is a full map. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is going to allow us to prepare much, much better for this uh, adventure. That's really, really nice to see there. So we do have another bit of combat coming up here. Um, unfortunately, our first two bits of combat haven't even been room battles, so we're not getting great rewards from them. Now, these guys aren't too bad. The snail can be kind of annoying. Uh, we will just torch up again here. And, of course, Sabrina, she she really is a, a one-trick pony right now, but we're going to... um. We're going to switch over and make sure we take out the Stress Dealer as fast as possible. Her damage isn't the best sometimes, but it is decent. Um, so it's kind of best to look at how much healing we're going to get with a 10% heal. A 10% heal here is only 3. So it's not exactly the biggest heal in the world. Uh, let's just activate Repost and get that going for ourselves. I think that's probably the best idea. Having a good Repost is, is certainly important. Let's go for a heal here. Nice resist on the bleed. Um, and we'll take this guy out, try to at least, um, of course, Renault's got some really, really nice damage potential here, so we'll try and take him out, even with his protection, before he manages to do exactly that, unfortunately. He did manage to pull off a protection there, but don't worry, Sabrina, Sabrina's got it. She's, um, she's gonna try and take out this. It does have very high protection, so we're, we're gonna have to take quite a few hits to take him out, but it should be okay. Um... Hmm. Let's do this. Buff our Metal Assault. And we got to remember that that's, that goes through protection. So these characters that have very high protection, it's very nice to do this against. And again, we actually got pushed into the exact same formation as before here. Uh, wow. We bled them for zero. Good to see. <laughs> uh, we'll do some healing here. We really need to. Okay. No, Sabrina. Sabrina takes a bit of a debuff there. Very, very low dodge now. Uh, we can actually go for a heal on them again. One. Ryan, if you could please activate repost. And then we can cure the bleed that we have on ourselves here. Very nice. Of course, repost does actually move through guard, which is really, really nice to see. Um, let's attack him just because it's going to attack the front line, the guy that we can't actually hit here. Oh, no, Sabrina. That was a bad, bad hit there. Oh, my God. Our claimants are actually getting very high on stress already, which isn't good to see. Um, please, Ryan, please come out with clutch. Four. It's decent. We haven't got anything over five yet with him, though, which is kind of sad to see. Take care of the stress dealer here. Okay, nice dodge there, Renault. Nice dodge. We'll get our torch going a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to heal us up again. It's only a three heal, but cures our bleed as well. And, of course, he's going to guard again. Um, we're going to have to do some healing and stress healing on these two. The claimants are getting rather stressed out, sharing each other's stress. Each of them getting worried about one another. Um, please, come on, come on. 13, 13, 13. Six. I can, I can handle six. And we'll just strike you again. Two damage, only got two health left. I think we'll activate Repost. And we'll go for this, which will probably kill him. Not quite, not quite. Uh, go for a battle heal on Sabrina here. We've got a nice healing network. I think these guys are working together pretty well, but this is still difficult to deal with. We did take some bleed there as well, but the Repost is working nicely. 
Think we can finish you off with one hit. Oh, not quite. This is a shame. Um, and again, we're healing on the claimants for 22. That is the that is the heal that Ryan dreamed of. Again, we'll keep the repurse going and also cure our bleed. I really like the combo with uh, the claimants here. And actually having Renault in the back line here, although his damage is very, very nice to see, it's also nice to have him as kind of a dedicated healer in the back line, even if his heals are a little weaker than some others. Um, we should be able to take this one out with Sabrina here. Actually, no, I'm going to take the back line with Sabrina. Um, I'm going to go for a heal on Sabrina as well, only two, and we did take some bleed there. Which is effectively just terrible. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go with Accident Repurse. And then I'm going to go with Metal Assault, which is Armor Piercing, which should just kill this guy in one hit. We should have done that from the very start, to be to be perfectly honest. But I didn't really think about that. And we'll just reduce our stress on our claimants as well a little bit here. Make sure we're managing that. And I will, just because we have... Actually, it's only two damage. We, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't really... Um... So I just want to check what, what we're going to get out of um, out of this if we change over. Both last until stealth ends. It's going to stealth us and increase crit while stealthed. This should maybe be how we open combat with Sabrina. That might be something I change over. And a 7 heal there. She's going to take some more bleed. Hopefully we can cure that up beforehand. Yeah, we'll, we'll cure that up. Nice bit of extra loot there, and we will uh, go on to Sabrina and bandage up. That's why I brought the extra bandages with me. We are going to have to be taking care of bleed fairly regularly. Please don't. Are you going to touch that? Okay, there was, there was still stuff inside. That's that's decent. I thought that was going to ruin it, but we could have used a shovel on that to get a few more bits and bobs out of it. Sadly, the claimants, um, they do have the, uh, the manic for money. Oh, that's nice. Extra damage against larger foes. That's good. Um, but yes, th these guys shouldn't be too bad. Uh, still moving on with no real room combat to see. We're getting torches every now and again and bits and bobs here. Eat a little bit. We've got to remember we can camp as well. So when we get to probably... Probably after this first battle, we'll camp. I think that'd be like the best point for us to camp. Because then that'd, be, that'd mean we'd get the most out of like stress relief camping. All, all the things like that. Unfortunately, the empty crate there. Using torches quite a lot here, but I don't want to get surprised or anything, even with our map here. So we're at 70%, 60%, 60%, 90%. Sabrina on a 90% failed. That is really unfortunate. A fail on a 90% is, is rather uncommon, but it, it does happen. Hopefully here we'll be able to remove the stress we just gained with another... Disarm. There you go. Got a disarm there. Yeah, living in the wilderness, she has got a lot, lot better at disarming traps. Living around the uh, the areas of the darkest dungeon has taught her the ways of, of um, what to look out for. The tripwires, the, 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 the little bits and bobs you'll find around the ground that have been placed there. And here we are with our first room battle. Let's see how we go here. Oh, do you know what I forgot to do? I completely forgot to rearrange my, my, my guys, which is not good. Not good at all. We really could have done with the extra damage there, but we will go with this straight away. Um, let's just do some healing here. We need to take out this guy as soon as possible. So I'm going to actually stun him. Unfortunately, he did resist. Let's switch over. And stealth. Going to give us a massive crit bonus. Unfortunately, took a bit of stress there. Claimants really taking a lot. Nice dodge there, Claimants. Ryan taking a bit of bit of damage there. Oof. He's got um Rex Falcon selected skills. Extra crit. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. What's his uh, stun resist? Let's try and stun him. Beautiful. Nice one, Ryan. We did we did really need his heal there, but I I I, I opted for um I opted for going for something a little more uh, defensive. Okay. Oh, Taking some big crits here. Right, let's try and take this guy out in one. Sadly, no crits. Um, we're going to have to heal Ryan here. He's getting low. We're all taking on quite a bit of stress here as well, which is a shame. Nice dodge there, Ryan. And another nice dodge, Ryan. You beauty. You absolute beauty. Um, I think we can get another stun on you. Oh, unfortunately, he did resist that one. 
And there's another hit on Rhine. People are really after Rhine here, which is not good. Let's activate our repost here. And Yeah, we are gonna have to we're gonna have to keep going on this. Uh let's guard Rhine. Okay. This isn't this isn't ideal, but there we go. There's a nice crit. There's a nice crit. Nice one, Sabrina. Okay, they're gonna take the stress from uh, from Ryan there, and another huge, devastating crit. Oh my god, this is devastating, devastating. Okay, we are at almost peak stress here. This is not looking good. We have to go for a heal here. He's too close to death. And again, another heal. 16. You, you beast. You absolute beast. And Sabrina, let's take you out. Ooh, this is stressful. Ryan, get another heal on you. Oh, people are going to hate that. I keep forgetting to re reorganize my roster. Oh, unfortunately, he did heal back to full. Which isn't good for us. Sabrina, we're just going to have to try and do our best to take out some of the more problematic people here. One. Ryan, we need more than one right now. We need more than one. Just keep going with the heals. Keep going with the heals. Call of the Depth. That's going to buff him for extra damage. Take you out. A nice crit there. It's going to be a bit of stress relief for everyone, which is great. Apart from the claimants, which are the ones that I'd say arguably need it the most, but... Apparently, that's not priority. Uh, we'll try and get a strike on you. Tain. There it is. There's the plague that we really didn't want to see. But, unfortunately, Sabrina's taking on that plague. We're going to want to get rid of that as soon as possible. We'll take a look at doing that after this turn. We're going to have to use Sabrina to take on the back line. Tain, again, on Sabrina. Do you want to, like, leave her alone? She's kind of taking a beating right now. We'll go over how that curse works as we as we come as we play here. Uh, let's heal you. This is worrying, certainly worrying. Luckily, the stress D like we've 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 managed stress not too bad, but we're really having trouble attacking this front line here. A nice crit there from Ryan. Unfortunately, unfortunately he did uh, the heal. The heal is so strong. The heal is so strong. There you go. Get a strike against you. Oh, a nice crit heal. Thank you, Renault. Oh, yes, Sabrina. A nice crit there as well. Lovely. Right, last one. Thank you for that miss. Let's try and get a stun here. Fortunately, resisted yet again. We should be able to finish off here. Come on, three. Oh, dodge. Unfortunately, a dodge there is not good. We need to do some stress relief on our claimants here. Stress relief on our claimants would be great. Um, let's get a bit of damage there. He's got one health left. Please don't heal. Measured assault. And there you go. Oof. That was tough. That was tough. Okay. Um, we'll have to leave that for now, I think. Uh, okay. So, let's go over this this plague. So, the Pelagic... Pel Pelagic? Pelagic Plague is a plague that you can only get from those specific new enemies. It's both good and bad. So, it can only be cured after beating a Siren, which is obviously problematic. Um, but it does increase our damage, speed, and bleed resist, but it increases our stress, lowers our maximum HP, and lowers our blight resist. So it's a, it's a back and forward. It also does lead to a little bit of mania, meaning that, um, unfortunately, Unfortunately, the uh, uh, Sabrina is probably going to strike some of her fellow teammates. Now, I don't know if this works, but I'm going to risk it. It does cure it. Okay. Good, good, good. We, we want to be getting rid of that whenever we take it on, because it is not good. And as I said, we will be doing a camp here. Please rearrange the default party order. I keep forgetting to do that, and it's really not good. Right. Let's, f let's fire up the campfire. Let's eat as much as we can here for a big heal and stress heal. 
Right, let's have a little look, see what we've got going on here. So, so Sabrina can reduce the stress. We've got 12 respite. Um, she can produce a random amount of food and increase scouting chance. She can prevent nighttime ambush um, and versus Talon Brigand. Okay. I do believe that Sabrina has some sort of camping thing where we can do some certain events while, while we're camping with her. Uh, here we have... Uh, Ooh, that's not good. Um, cell phone, reduce torchlight by 100. One companion, heal 50%. Okay. Claimants here, we have... Plus 50% healing skill, if in mode sister. Plus 50% stress, in, if in mode sister. Minus 50%. Mm, okay, that's not good. Um, then virtue chance for the whole party, but plus 7 stress. Okay, so I think what we're going to do here is we're going to go with prevent nighttime ambush... And also buff our dodge if we do end up doing the event that she has, I believe. Um, we will reduce our stress here. We will... Let's have a look. Party. Ooh, that's really good. Um, let's just do that. Okay. And that's going to be it for the night, I do believe. So we may have to do an event with Sabrina here. I'm not sure. We'll see. Yes, we do. So, in... In staying in the in the forest, she's made some she's made some some enemies. She's made some foes. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to deal with those right now. Let's get a heal there. Big heal, big heal here, and a nice bit of stress healing. But we're gonna have to try our best to take these out. As you can see, Sabrina stole some of their clothes while she was out in the wilderness and and robbed from these people, and they were not very fond of that at all. So. We are going to have to be very careful here. Let's um, let's enable our stealth here and get a bit of crit chance up. Um, here, I think we're just going to play the smart play. And actually, let's have a look. Do these guys have any protection? Not by the looks of things, no. Um, let's just let's just get repost going. Make sure we get our repost damage up and mark ourselves with a bit of protection as well. That's going to help out the rest of the group. These guys have 15 damage with this sword. We have the chance to hit from anywhere from 10 to 19, so we should go for that. And there you go. There's a kill on our first guy straight off the bat, which is lovely. And oh my god, did you see that? Sister Elis just took an arrow straight to the head, which is never, never a good thing to see. Let's do a little bit of stress healing here, um, as, as well as a cure on Renault there. I think these two are going to work quite nicely together against these guys. That debuff there, of course, plus 10 stress is very, very unfortunate. Hopefully we can heal Renault here up to near full, and we did indeed get that there. And let's go for a strike critical. There we go. Beautiful critical there. Sabrina, she knows how to fight against these people. She has dealt with them in the past. She is managing to take them out. And let's hope for another 16 hit again. 13. Unfortunately, not quite enough to uh, take you out there. We are going to take on a little bit more bleed there, I think. Another volley. The volleys are coming in hot and heavy, but Ryan is actually doing a great, great job today. This after after having a bit of a rest, he's sort of cl cleared his mind and prepared for the next day, and he's 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 really helping himself out quite a lot with being able to get some of them higher, more important heals. So let's have a look here. So we can get this guy in one hit here. So we'll just take out the back line and make sure we've got one less arrowsman to deal with, one less archer. Um, we've got two two bleeds to deal with. I think we'll try and cure your bleed. So let's activate this, and then let's also cure a bleed there. Beautiful. Ryan's getting rid of that bleed. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just go for a strike. Make sure I'm taken out. 16 damage there from from um, Renault. Beautiful. And I think we should be able to finish this off with. Unfortunately, you can't finish it off with one strike. Uh, let's let's just do this. Mark, mark our target. Reduce his accuracy. Hope for some misses. Unfortunately, none. Uh, and let's do some healing here. Seven heal. Um, do a bit of stress healing here. Along with a small bit of repose damage and protection, which we can stack up a little bit. And here we can go for a bit more healing. Considering we can't quite reach that guy. Fortunately, Sabrina's going to be have to, have to be the one to hit the final blow. And there she goes. She does it. She's taken him out. She's protected the group. Okay. Damn it. One of the damsels escaped. A Scott must have tied the knot wrong. And now the wench is out in the woods. That idiot. 
Mother is sending me with um, Garrett and Mav Mavis to track her down. It's unsurprising, really. My day ruined by the actions of a brain-dead oaf. Maybe I'll stab him in the sack to teach him a lesson once I return. That is one of the journals that's to do with um, with Sabrina's past. I think that's the that's yes, that's the entry there. So we can we can get rid of that now. Um, we'll take on these and these feathers. The ruffle feathers provide. Um, Prove that you have dispatched a member of the town's brigade. Someone will pay you handsomely for this. Lovely. So that worked out really nicely for us. Now we do have to complete 90% of rooms here, which um, which would mean that we've got to complete, I think, all of these. Let's so let's uh, let's go this way first. Sack is empty, unfortunately. Another trap which you can disarm and get some stress healing from. Nice one, Sabrina. Nice work there. Let's go through here. We're going to have to go over to this battle here, I think. I might take a risk here. I might take a risk. What's your, what's your disarm chance? 70%. Did not pay off at all. It did not pay off at all. I wanted the stress healing. Unfortunately, it, it, it isn't that easy always. The, um, the two aren't as good at disarming traps as Sabrina, and we took a chance. Unfortunately, it did not pay off. Let's fight this group here. Stress dealer in the back is, of course, probably going to get a move before anyone. Yep. Sabrina, already low health here. Ryan can hopefully... Nope. <laughs> he can hopefully assist, but today... He was he was good to start with, but he's, he's lost his uh, muster a little bit. And we'll try and take out that stress dealer in the back line there and do a little bit of healing here. Make sure Sabrina isn't too behind the curve. And... Let's go with... You have a bit of protection, don't you? No, you didn't. It's just this guy that has protection. So let's let's do this. Bit of stress heal, and then always strike this guy with the uh, the protection carving move. And again, we'll just keep striking the back line there. Get rid of that stress dealer and Ryan. I could really do with a few higher heals than one and two, Ryan. You realise that, right? You realise that, right? Everyone's taking quite a beating right now. Um, let's go for a double hit on these two. Okay, so your damage isn't too bad. Let's um, activate some repost here. Get a bit of protection going. Okay. Backline's taken out again with another beautiful crit from Sabrina. She's really, really nice with those crits. She knows what she's doing with that bow. You can tell she's trained for quite a while. And, Ryan, you are going to have to pull out the stops right here. A 12 heal there is, is fantastic. Um, let's heal you up for four. Heal Ryan up for three. We're going to have to just keep on healing. Keep pushing through. Hope for some hope for some dodges. Oh, another crit. Nice one, Sabrina. Nice one. Absolutely beautiful. What I want to see. Really is what I want to see. Oof, another hit there. Go on, Ryan. Six. It's better. It's better than we've been getting. Um, we'll finish you off. I think it's better to finish you off than to heal someone for three. These two are going to be a real, a real pain. So let's uh, let's go with this. Try and pull you forward a little bit, and then go for a messless assault. Get a little bit extra damage there. Take you out. The protection's really helping there. Six. We're getting some real high bleed on uh, Sabrina right now, but. Shouldn't be a problem. Oof, this this damage we're taking right now. Everyone's bleeding. Everyone's bleeding. Who's bleeding for the most, though? You're bleeding for quite a lot. Let's, let's help out Renault. Mm. Ryan, you need some healing there. You can be taken out. Oh, another crit. Another bit of stress healing. It's only really the claimants that have been taking the uh, the, the brute force of the, of the stress. But, oh, my God. Ryan, please save yourself. Thank you. He brought himself back from the brink. Unfortunately, Desidora is going to give us some negatives throughout the rest of this. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, we're going to go for another one of these. And see. Oh, unfortunately, I missed there from brother. Hmm. Let's just try and take you out. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now we need to spend some time doing some healing here. So let's just do that, shall we? Minus one stress for everyone's nice. A nice dodge there, Sabrina. Beautiful. 
unfortunate. I'll try and get everyone up to a decent amount of health here. Of course, we've got to be careful for reinforcements. We don't want to take on too much here. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep doing this and giving everyone a little bit of stress relief. I'm not going to worry about the stress on the claimants yet. Mm, please. Oh, no. I really need a, a massive and a, a gargantuan heal from uh, from Ryan to make this work. This is, this is bad. We're going to have to finish the combat here. Otherwise, we're going to end up having reinforcements to deal with. Sadly, we're going to have to leave that. Uh, let's get rid of the pages. Take that. Everyone's not doing great. We're not doing great here. Uh, let's head back this way. Get our light all the way up. We should only have to do two more rooms, though. But they're both combat. They're both combat, which is... Definitely scary considering everyone's teetering around half HP, which I don't I don't like to see. Certainly don't like to see. But this this group has has been has been rather a, a rather good group to work together. Now we do have some lower levels, which is definitely leading to some of um, damn it, definitely leading to some of the unfortunate incidents we've been coming across here. Let's see if we can gather ourselves a little more food here. It's not food, but. I'll go for it. The wound is inflicted. I'm having hallucinations. My damned bird flew away. Oh, this is the falconer as well. My damned bird flew away during that terrible encounter and hasn't re hasn't returned. I can only assume Turid has suffered the same fate as Aldwin. To think this was the way it would end. Huddled under a tree, haunted by the memories of that unspeakable creature. I thought I'd be be redeemed for my sins, but instead I die forgotten like so many other countless souls. I thought I was ready to fight the horrors, but now I know better. And that actually is a really nice segue into the beginning of her story. If you don't remember Sabrina's story, she was actually she actually woke up half buried in the dirt, almost dead uh, in the woods, and had to sort of rebuild her life from there. Right. Next battle. I'm scared about this. That's, that, that surprise is very, very nice. Uh, so where are we going to get the most benefit out of a heal? Let's go for a heal here. Nice one. Immediately, we're going to be taking this guy out because he can explode and that can be devastating. We'll get our um, trusty, trusty bit of uh, protection set up there and we'll finish you off. Very nice. Now we don't have to worry about him at all. We do have two stress dealers in the back here, which is going to be a problem. And of course, they go for the claimants. I mean, they are marked. So that does make sense. They are taking... The, the the brunt of it all for everyone, which is very nice of them actually. Uh, they, they, they've 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 only just come here, but they're really helping out a lot. I don't know what happened there. How she was at such low HP. Hmm. All heroes extra crit. Let's go with that. Everyone's gonna get a crit bonus. Claimants, nice little dodge there. Sabrina, ooh, a little bit of stress there there for Sabrina, but I think she's gonna be okay. Claimants need a heal of zero. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Let's drag you forward, make you a little easier to hit, and go for a strike. Unfortunately, they are not very good at hitting that attack there. But we'll get a nice bit of damage. And Sabrina should be able to do a decent amount. And for... Ryan is just so, so unreliable. So unreliable. He, he relies on the powers of the occult. And of course, they they are not what, what you'd want to be relying on. Bit of stress heal here. Bit of protection as well. Protection and mark is always good. And we'll take care of the stress dealer there. Nice one, Renault. Like to see it. Taking a little bit of stress on himself. But we should be able to clean this up with another beautiful critical strike from Sabrina. She really is doing great here. We've lost out on quite a lot of money from leaving these around. But unfortunately, it's the way it's got to be. We're getting quite a lot of curios within this area, which is nice. Uh, we'll light ourselves up doubly. And this should be our last room we have to do. Of course, of course, we have some problems here. We do indeed have two of the enemies that can give us this curse. We've got to be, we got to be very, very quick with, uh, with, with taking these guys out. Unfortunately, right now we can't really do much about that. We're just going to take this guy out and try and reduce the numbers. You really need to help the claimants out more. I don't think I don't think Ryan really likes the claimants. He's been healing them for very, very low amounts. Very low amounts indeed. Um, 
Do that. Do that. Ooh. Okay, he's going to move himself forward and buff himself. And there's that strike. Unfortunately, this time, we do not... Ooh, that's a, that's a big strike. We do not have the ability to remove the curse should we get it this time around. We're gonna have, we are going to have to heal ourselves and get ourselves a death star here. Take you out. Oh, he's, he's protected. That's really bad. Try and take you out. Ryan. Please, Ryan. Hell about the crew. Just give us one of your criticals, please. Death star again. Okay. And there's our curse. Taking it on, on yet another. I think to essentially skip turns to keep ourselves alive as the claimant's here. Another Death Star for Ryan. He should be able to get himself off that with a heal of one. He just... He's in a bad way. He's in a bad way. This is... This is not good. We have to take this guy out. I know we've got a Death Star and we could easily lose our claimant here. But it has to be done. It has to be done. Okay, okay. Oh, Ryan. Ryan, 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 Ryan. You need to pull out the stops for us here, big boy. Oh, my God. It's not, it's not good. It's not good. The stress is getting to me. It's getting to us. Take out you. We do have some protection here, so he's going to be hard to deal with. And Sabrina's on death's door as well. No Sabrina. The resolve is tested. Masochist. Bring your worst. Lovely. He's striking others now. Okay, nice heal on you guys. They won't even re receive healing. That's bad. But a crit there is beautiful. But our claimants could be... Could be our first to go here. Three death doors. Three death doors and one battle. Not good. Another death door with a bleed. This is this is unprecedented. Please don't. Okay, as you can see there, he dealt he dealt damage to everyone. Let's go for a nice heal. He really does not like the claimants at all, does he? Okay, both of these are dead. Ooh, okay, we need we need to get these. So let's have a little look, see what we can get rid of here. Um, I think we can get rid of... Let's just eat some food here. We can take that. These rubies are very, very valuable. So let's take those. Get rid of that. And we should also take that if we can as well. Which... Take, okay. Thank God, right. You just touch that and see what happens. Oh my god. Okay, that was... That was difficult. Certainly. Renault, the glass is half empty. He's a bit of a pessimist, but he is going to get some bleed resist. Ryan is going to get... Extra food consumption is if he's got high stress. He is going to get extra damage versus stun though. And Sabrina, no stress penalty when walking backwards. Um, your days are numbered, marked by the flock. Oh my god. One blueprint awarded. Okay, we've, we've now got access to districts and we do have a blueprint. Um, we have... The Red Hook, um, a, mon a monument with no purpose except proclaim of one's dedication. Uh, the Revenant gets extra bleed amount if he has Crimson Curse. Okay. The Bank definitely seems useful. Um, interest gains on gold is 5% per week. That is a very hefty investment, though. We would have to spend quite a lot to get that. And get the Conjured Workshop. Uh, the Enigma would gain extra shards and damage received is reduced. We'd also get... Okay. We've got some. We've got quite a lot of interesting ones to do here. Um, idle Stress Relief is increased by 10 per week. Oh my god, I need 200 shields for that. Just some insane ones here. Insane ones. Um, 
Doesn't look like there's any we can really do here, but that's that's we, we've got a lot to do there. Right, so our claimants definitely need some stress heal, so let's put those in the penance hall. Put them in there. Oh my god. That was close. Three three near-death experiences is not what you expect. I believe we should be able to get a roster upgrade now. Um, we have a new keeper. We have a rescuer. We have a duchess. We have a player doctor. So we're, we're getting to the point where we've got no new people apart from the rescuer here. We'll take him on for the next, uh, the next adventure as our last member. And we will maybe upgrade our hero roster should we need to next time. We could also upgrade our network to receive more people each week. Up from five to six. I don't know which would be better. Again, that's something that should be up to you guys, I do believe. Uh, and we do also have another diary entry from Amaris, who was our mitre in the last episode. Uh, talking about um, Artemis, actually. The Lamia. She may have fooled others, but I've seen through Artemis, Artemis is thin, thinly... I'm going to just start again there. She may have fooled others, but I have seen through Artemis' thinly veiled lies and seen what she truly is. God, was it ugly. I just want to cleanse her from sin and mend her vile ideology, but there's much more important things to do than waste my time on that creature. So, of course, Amaris wanting to cleanse the uh, the darkest dungeon of sin sees a lot of sin in, in Artemis here and really wants to do something about her. So, something we definitely need to do now, um, I do believe, is we need to do some upgrading. We have some money here to do that, so let's have a little look doing that uh we could of course reduce the um the cost of training skills but i don't think it's gonna be the best use of our time right now so um sabrina we definitely want to be upgrading because she's um been really good for us how does this get affected um i don't think you need to upgrade this at all do you oh wait it doesn't cost anything okay fair enough um We'll buff that up as well. We don't really use that other skill, though. And we'll make sure her armor is uh, of the right of the right level. Okay, this is stressful, right? Ryan, he needs he needs armor at least. Um, although it does increase his speed and crit chance, I do believe. No, it doesn't. It just increases his crit chance. And his base damage. We'll leave him for now. We'll leave him for now. Uh, anyone else that's going to be needing it? We've got a few people down here. Let's 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 go from the bottom, shall we? Um, the claimants could get it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that yet with them. Morgana definitely can take it. She's uh, she's very useful for us. Leo as well. Isaac as well. And we'll leave it at that for now and then go into some skills. Let's have a look if there's anything we can sell here. Okay, let's let's make sure that uh, Sabrina gets what she rightfully deserves. Ooh, buffing her dodge quite high there. Quite high indeed. Wow, she is uh she is taking on some some traits here. Right, let's have him hop into here. Is that the right place? Yes it is. Um Who do we just upgrade? So we upgraded Morgana. This is pricey. This is pricey. We've got to be careful about what we're doing with upgrades here. So let's go with Entangled. I'm, I'm, I'm going to upgrade her fully. I think she deserves it. She's very, very useful to us. Same with Leo as well. I think Leo's going to get a full suite of upgrades. Uh, pretty much. This is definitely going to get upgraded. Actually, no, that's only one extra stress. We don't need that yet. Uh, transformation. It goes from... X, it gives him extra damage and the speed. Yeah, we'll definitely go with that. Stun chant is increased. Accuracy is increased. Go with that. Blight is nice. We'll go. With, we'll go with them ones for now. Um, and Isaac as well. Isaac needs uh, needs this doing. So I think for Isaac, we're actually going to spend a little more money on him. Unlock this ability here. Um, and then go with that. There you go. And make sure we trade off this ability for this ability. The battlefield medicine is so much better. It's so good for him. Right, and I think that's going to be it for our upgrades here. 
Oh, this has been um, this has been a rather stressful episode today. We've uh, we 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 got very very close to taking on some serious serious issues, and I do believe that we unfortunately have Ryan suffering suffering from the curse. We'll notice that um, he's actually got reduced maximum HP, increased speed increased damage but he's got reduced blight resist and increased bleed resist i do believe different people get affected differently by it um but some of the base things are very very similar we we're not going to be able to even cure him until we go to the alluring siren for the first time which is one of the major bosses of the game if we go on to embark here we haven't even unlocked that yet we'll have to kill this boss first and honestly looking at that reward I think it may be a very, very good idea for us to try our first boss on our next our next uh, adventure. We'll see about that, see what you guys think. But either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. Please, if you do want to get involved with writing backstories and diary entries, join the Discord and I will add you to the group so you guys can start participating. That'd be really great to see more people get involved. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.